installing the warm board comfort system is very straightforward and can be easily accomplished by a licensed contractor or plumber. Installation of the mechanical components begins once the panels, tubing, and manifolds have already been installed. Also, you'll want to watch our warm source installation video prior to installing the remaining components. One very important note, we have custom designed this entire system for you, for this property. So as you begin opening packages, pay close attention to the labeling. Installing each component in the correct location is essential. Make sure tubing layouts have not changed from the WCS design drawings as it may affect the operation of the system. If field revisions have been made, give us a call before proceeding. Make sure the warm source has already been installed. Watch our other video to help you. If you haven't already, we highly recommend running the system in construction mode to test heating loops and flow rates. If the system is still running in construction mode, you will want to access the SRC inside of the warm source and remove the jumper and disable this feature before installing the remaining components. Once construction mode is disabled, proceed with the installation. To begin, simply remove the actuator from the box and fasten one to each connection on the return side of the manifold. Push to click the actuator into place. Next, we'll install the manifold controller. The MCs install inside each manifold cabinet and communicate the needs from each loop back to the warm source. Each MC is labeled, so make sure you are installing the correct one for the cabinet. This will be clearly labeled in your plan set. Our warm board design drawings show the dimensions of the cabinet and the need for a power outlet. Make sure the antenna on the MC is firmly connected and has some room to move. Then use the provided screws to fasten the unit into place. Check the color of the tubing labels below each actuator. Then, take the wire from that actuator and plug it into the corresponding port on the side of the MC. If you have multiple loops of the same color, just match it to the corresponding label. Now, repeat this process for each manifold cabinet in the house being careful to locate each manifold number according to the plans. Then it is time to move on to the thermostats. Installing warm board thermostats should be done after walls have been textured and painted. Our thermostats fit easily into a standard J-Box and can be installed in just a few minutes. To begin, check the warm board design drawings and make sure you're starting in the correct room of the house, zone one. Open the thermostat box and you will notice that each thermostat is clearly labeled with a color-coded zone number. Remove the zone one thermostat from the box, then slowly separate the two pieces. Connect the two wires from the back of the thermostat to the wiring in the J-Box, then fasten in place with the arrows pointing up. Once done, snap the thermostat back into place. Repeat for each zone and just be careful to take note that the proper thermostat is being used in each room. The warm board comfort system is now completely installed but before leaving the job site, you'll want to test each zone to make sure the system is working properly. Starting with the thermostat in zone 1, tap the screen, then the menu icon, and choose settings. Then press test zone. This will turn off all other zones and will show whether the loops for zone 1 are responding correctly. Now go to the manifold cabinet for this zone. On the MC, you will see a green light for each loop that is calling for heat. This means that the actuator is opening. Make sure each loop for zone one has a green light. After five minutes, the lights will turn blue, indicating that hot water is now flowing through this zone. With everything working properly, you can return to zone one and end the test. Now repeat this process for each zone. Here are a few final items to be aware of. When water is circulating through the system, the LEDs on your pump will show the flow rate in GPMs. Confirm that the pump is set to the highest constant pressure setting. Make sure the water temps shown on the LED screen are between 90 and 140 degrees. If the boiler is firing at a higher temperature, shut down immediately and give us a call. Lastly, access the settings area in the thermostat to set the date and time throughout the system. The bridge is the final component in the warm board comfort system. The bridge allows the system to connect to the outside world. It does not compromise your security, but allows for remote troubleshooting and system diagnostics in case any errors occur. Installation of the bridge may be completed by the homeowner as it requires the property to have internet service. If the site has an internet connection, simply connect the bridge to the home's router using the provided ethernet cable and plug it into a nearby power outlet. Next, 
Download our iOS or Android app, create an account, scan the QR code, and the bridge will be ready to go. With the bridge connected to the internet, we will be better able to troubleshoot any issues that arise. Date and time will be kept accurate, and if you leave the house for a few days, you'll be able to operate vacation mode. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us at warmboard.com.